Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, going to be 92 today. Feel like 100 with the humidity. Uh, but, of course, our show tonight at Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater, Bald Hill, doesn't start till 8 o'clock, Candy. So, so it'll start to cool a little. Yeah. Maybe maybe a breeze will come through the universe and make us feel a little better. That would be nice. Uh, we have the parking lot at 4, uh, the gates at 6, and the show at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, so going to be a lot of fun. Walker Hayes, still tickets available, Ticketmaster.com, or uh, head to the box office this evening. Candy and... Sounds good. We'll be all set. You had a, uh, a good day yesterday? Anything interesting? I had a good day. Uh, we got out to walk, Tilly and I, and it wasn't... It was hot, but I have to say it wasn't as humid as I expected, so we got to do our regular little walk around. And, uh, you know, I've been redoing clothing in the bedroom, so that continues on. Yeah, that's a big project. You're going to be involved with that for a while. Well, I'm almost, I'm almost done, but oh. uh, you know, a draw at a time. But Look uh, at you. again, bags to give away. When you walk Tilly, I'm curious. When you walk Tilly and you bring her little water bottle and you stop and give her water, do you look around to see other people watching Tilly drink water and look at my puppy, look how cute my puppy is? You know, they've been doing work on my block this week. Uh, they're putting new gas, main, whatever they're doing, okay? So they've been digging up the street. The construction guys, they love her. They love her. Aww. And this one guy she loves. You know, it's funny how dogs react to people. Sometimes they're indifferent. Sometimes they're loving. Sometimes they're cautious. This guy, she, I'm telling you, she go home with him in a minute. Do you walk her over and they pet her? And... Yes, he was playing with her. She doesn't do that with everybody. So he must have a good soul. You know Aww. what I mean? Dogs know this kind of thing. You know, you're making their day, these guys and girls they out there. They all love Tilly and they're digging up the road and they're, they're like in six feet ditches. I, I don't know what's going on out there. But yeah, uh, there's a Porter John on the road. Yeah, they're doing a big job. And uh, Tilly makes their little morning better when I take her out. I think today you take her out and you bring them cold drinks today. You know, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. Only I had some. You should make cold because drinks. Because my car has to be parked a block away because there's no parking on the street right now. Yeah. Maybe I could work that out. Yeah, listen, you need to uh, make a, a jug of lemonade or iced tea or something. Give them a little kick. You don't have anything in the house, Candy? No. No. That's very sad. I'm sorry. Uh, you need to go get some mix. How long of a walk is it for you to go get some lemonade mix? Oh, I would have to drive. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't have not walking distance well, to a grocery true. store. That's true. Yeah, who who really is? Very few people are, right. I would say. Uh, so, all right. So, you uh, uh, got, and then you got to move the car and get in the car, and it's 100 degrees. I understand. Yeah, it's I, a whole lot do. I understand. Uh, but I think uh, in the future, if these guys are going to be out there the rest of the summer, you need to get out, get some cold drinks, bring Tilly, and serve some cold drinks to these people. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Gonna, look- I'm going to bring. I'm going to tell Brian to do that later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not looking to put work on your plate. I'm not. No, I understand. It's a very nice gesture. Back in the day when, you know, I lived on Nelshore Drive in Monticello in Sullivan County, and I was growing up, my father had a, a refrigerator. I think you have, though, say, maybe yours is in the garage. Ours, ours was in the basement filled with drinks. And he would do that with the garbage men all the time. And it was hot in the summer, and he'd have soda, water, juice everything he had everything down there and they would be so happy and they would talk you know it was just a nice part of the day for them yeah our fridge is uh, in the garage we have the extra fridge uh my parents have theirs in the basement ours was in the basement with one of those i don't even know if they make them anymore deep freezers they're long sure but Yes. Sure. That was always filled, you know. My family would go and get like a half a cow. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Uh, no, but it sounds good. Not a whole, you know, not a whole cow. It would be butchered, but they would buy like a half a cow and then have meat for the next whatever. And they'd freeze it in the basement uh, along with the refrigerator and all the drinks. I remember Yahoo, uh, 
Yoo-hoo, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo in the glass bottles. Sure. Is there anything better with the chocolate syrup on the bottom? You shake that up. Well, yummy. And glass bottles, of course, uh, seem to keep the drinks much colder. Yes, they're coming back now because they're trying to get away from plastic. Yeah. But back in the day, everything was glass. Yeah, for sure. Uh, The glass bottles, when you take them out of a refrigerator, they feel much uh, crisper, right? Much colder. Much colder, yeah. Delish. Um, You know, the deep freezer thing is interesting because at the beginning of the pandemic, March, April, May, back in 2020, uh, you know, there was a run on deep freezers. You couldn't get a deep freezer anywhere. You call Lowe's and Home Depot. And they were on back order for a year, Candy. I believe you. I was looking into it because, you know, everyone was talking about go get some meat and put it away and, you know, get the deep freezer. And, you know, we wanted to have food in the house and everything. And, uh, yeah, couldn't find a deep freezer anywhere. Well, you got to look maybe a Facebook marketplace or whatever. Maybe someone's trying to sell one. They seem to last a very long time. No, I'm good now. I don't need You're good one. now? Yeah. You don't need one anymore? No, I'm good. All at, right. I'm good with the uh, the freezer situation. But back then, everyone was like, ah, oh, what if the meat, the supply chain, there's no meat and you want to, and you couldn't get a deep freezer. Oh, my father loved that deep freezer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Candy, special song at 730, less than an hour to your Bald in the Beautiful Entertainment coming up about 8-12, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we got a hot one today, going to be 92, feel like over 100 with the humidity. We got Walker Hayes, Caitlin Smith tonight, Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Once again, parking lot at 4, gates to the venue at 6, DJ Deuce will spin. Uh, we have Megan VK playing in the uh, food court at 6 as well. And then uh, 8 o'clock, the show, Caitlin Smith at 8. And Walker comes on about 9.15, 9.20, Candy. And and once the music gets going and it's really good, you don't even know how hot it is. Oh, and the show doesn't start till 8 o'clock. Sun will be uh, headed down at that point. So, right. Yeah, be all set. Great night tonight. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.